something <laughs> All right, we are uh, in the middle of Oklahoma where John Sukup has brought us. This is John, John with the bass tank. We got a uh, Matt Panger from uh, BTL. Uh, John has brought us out here to do a little crappie fishing today. Uh, the bass tank's doing a lot of cool things in the industry and a lot of innovative stuff, but really in the crappie side of it, they've been doing a lot. And uh, I'm really excited to go with them today. John's going to teach us some new things and we're going to play with some Garmin's and uh, do some other cool stuff. I hadn't even seen the new troll motor yet. We're going to catch a three pound that crappie. That's what we're out here for. Three pound crappie. Three pound crappie. Three. John guaranteed a three pound so crappie. Sweet. Well, the funny thing is about the story here is, is that John wouldn't even tell us what lake he was coming to. He and, still hasn't told us. And and, and, it, and it, it's a big secret. And it's like we almost had to be blindfolded to come here. But let me tell you something, John. And these guys don't know this story yet. This is actually the very first lake that I ever fished in my entire life in the state of Oklahoma. Um, I was brought here by my uncle and my dad. Uh, my dad and I were living in Tennessee, and my uncle lived over in uh, Oilton, Oklahoma. He had a new boat, he was big on crappie fishing, and this new lake had just been built. That was probably 35 years ago, so even though John hasn't told me the name of this lake yet, I know what it is because I recognize all that standing timber out there. Looks a lot less than what it used to be, but uh, really excited to go out here today. And, and maybe if you're lucky, John will let us tell you what the name of this lake is. How long this rod is. How long is this rod, John? 14 foot. So tell me again, you told me a second ago, what, why the 14 foot rod? Spooky crappie. 11 foot, the fish get crappie spooked, the crappie get spooked. So I'm able to reach out in front of them. The wind's blowing my direction, I can reach out to 14 foot and let it drift back in front of their face. The 11. If I get too close to them, I got a 10 foot rod and I'm trying to flip out to them and flip out to them. Sometimes the fish want a vertical and you can't, they won't bite on a swing, it'll just spook them. So this just allows us to get, you know, within 14 foot of them and drop right below them and just dead stick it. So if you're sitting in one spot, you're able to sit and watch them on the live scope and you actually put it in front of the fish and not have to get right on top of them. Not have to control the trolling motor, not have to dig around, make noise. Right. This is a... How would you have been able to do that before live scope? I guess get on top of them and drift back? That's why you saw the riggers with 10 rods in their boat just spread out everywhere. Okay. The spider yeah. web looking... The spider check. rigging. Yeah. And so that... This is eliminating spider rigging. Live scope and okay. long rod. One okay. pulling. I'm ready to go try it. You ready to go try it? I've been ready. We are uh, walking out onto the dock, um, but I believe that it was the first dock I walked on 35 years ago. Look at this, Joel. Look at that. This is uh, quite the dock. Comes our taxi cab driver, John Sukup, bass tank. So we're gonna go out here and scope around. I'm gonna see if they're hanging on trees. We're hoping they're not. The more suspended they are, we call them bogies, where they get out and kind of float around. That's the more active they are, the easier it's gonna be able to be, you know, target with the live scope. If we're dipping on trees, most likely they're gonna be inactive. So. What do you mean by dipping on trees? If we're, you know, if you see the standing timber out here. If we actually, if the fish are actually holding tight to that timber, this time of year, they're inactive when they get, when they start to want to feed, which, you know, what is it, 930 right now? We're going to catch them in the morning, but as that wind starts to stir, as that temperature heats up a little bit, you know, the one, two o'clock, that's when the big ones will pull off the trees and start roaming, and they do their thing. They go feed on shad, and they come back. So we're going to, you know, we're going to typically do the winter thing. We're going to hang near channels, deeper stuff. We're not going to get on a bunch of shallow flats. And uh, we're gonna see if we can find a school. The bigger ones usually will kind of live in the same area, but not necessarily school together. So we'll do a lot of searching. The live scope will zoom out, and we, we'll do what we call sweeping. Sweep, you know, check the area out. Go from there. Okay. Little little guy. See him four foot out. Yep. He's a little guy. So that's what we do. We just drop down to him. <clears throat> show y'all something's different that I see right off the bat that John does different than, than we would be doing bass fishing. It's, my stuff's usually out here at 60 and John's got it in at 24. Look he's looking at now. See him? See so he's dropped the jig and he's looking at his bait right now. See the two right here in the center of the screen? The top of the deal on top is his jig and the one on the bottom is the crop. He's coming up at it. You can actually see his fishing line. Here he comes up after it. And he went the other way. 
dropped it down to it. By, by making it a smaller screen, you increase the size of everything that you're looking at. Show you another problem John has. If you have size 16 foot like John has and it doesn't fit in the hole of a boat anymore, <laughs> that's a problem Big John's got. That's a big fish. Very nice fish. I'm trying to keep it above him, trying not to spook him. He's spinning and turning and checking. He's coming back up at it. And we got him. See, just seeing all these tree limbs just makes me want to slow roll a half ounce blade through there, knock it up over those trees, and watch some of those little big knots that he's calling crappie roll out and have a set of eyes on it the size of quarters. This is the kind of fish I'm talking about that are roamers, you know, bogeys. Bogeys? Yeah, we call them bogeys. Type and bogeys, that's the, that's the term. Oh, it came up quick then. Oh, you can actually see the way he looks. You can actually see the shape of the crappie for a second there. Yeah. You can tell where the head of it is and the tail of it. Gee. That's my just turn it on. That's just stupid. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, he fucking ate it. Oh. Did he eat it? Did you ever feel him? Yeah. He's still there. Oh, he's coming back. He's got the scent of blood on him. He got him. Got him. He's still there. Oh, he's coming back. He's got the scent of blood on him. He got him. Got him. Oh! Not even a two. Not even a two. <laughs> oh, Look at the size two. of that thing. We could eat him. Let's get up here close and see the size of this crappie. So, uh, John wears size 14 boot, and you can see uh, <laughs> that uh, crappie's close to the size of his foot. He calls oh. this a little one. Yeah. He looks interested. Here it comes. Oh, come on. He's big. I can see his eyeballs. You can like see his fins. Golly, that's a giant. Mm -hmm. He turned it a 45 too with his tail down. He is. There he comes. He's gonna eat it. Oh my god. We got him. That's a big one. Oh my god. There he comes. He's gonna eat it. Oh my god. We got him. That's a big one. Oh my god. Yeah, baby. Look at that pig. There's a tip. Close. <laughs> hey, do you love this rod or what? Boat flipping giants. Look at that thing. That's freaking <laughs> stud right there. Two pounder? Yeah, she's really close. That's why you're close. She got a little belly to her. 193. I know I've never caught a crappie that big. Never. Two, two, oh my five, gosh, right, look two, at two. that. Is that a big crappie or what? <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma. There's a giant crappie from Oklahoma. I told you they were doing some special things here at the bass time.
job, John. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> Thank you.